Hello, and welcome to the Drug Discovery World podcast, a podcast covering topics around drug discovery and development, pharma, and biotech. My name is Giles, and I'm here to take you through this episode. Today's episode is taken from our recent summer 2019 issue, titled Automated Cell-Based Assays, Novel Tools Overcome the Barriers to Drug Discovery Success. This article was written by Helen Stewart-Miller and Kate Toynton. So now onto the main article, Automated Cell-Based Assays, Novel Tools Overcome the Barriers to Drug Discovery Success. In this article, we look at how commercial products and services are facilitating the automation of cell-based assays to advance drug discovery and accelerate the delivery of new medicine to patients. Cell-based assays are vital tools in modern drug discovery. Live cell cultures that replicate in vivo physiological conditions enable more reliable predictions about the safety and efficacy of drugs. Cellular assays have traditionally been complex and labor-intensive. However, automated technologies are now streamlining workflows as well as improving assay precision. The last decade in drug discovery has seen a strong drive towards using in vitro cellular models that better mimic the in vivo environment, such as three-dimensional, 3D, and patient-derived models. This is vital for enabling the reliable analysis of drug targets and drug mechanisms of action during early screening, as well as in later drug absorption, metabolism, and toxicity studies. Peter Banks, Scientific Director at Biotech Instruments, states, The drive for greater physiological relevance in drug discovery assays has resulted in a number of key methodological changes over the last decade. This includes the greater use of human primary cells relative to immortalized cell lines, measuring endogenous expression of drug targets, as opposed to their overexpression, and the use of 3D cellular models involving hydrogels and spheroid aggregation. However, complex protocols, extended runtimes, and large numbers of samples make cell-based assays labor-intensive. They also need to be highly sensitive, reproducible, and reliable to ensure they produce high-quality data. As cellular assays are increasingly used during primary screening, a high throughput capability is also highly desirable. The automation of cell-based assays has been critical in tackling these challenges. Increasing the efficiency and productivity of cell-based assays. The automation of cellular assays can benefit every aspect of drug discovery. In the early stages, automation enables cell-based screening of vast compound libraries which was previously unfeasible with conventional, manual cellular assays. Thanks to automation, more physiologically relevant data can now be generated as an earlier stage of the drug discovery pipeline, enabling the prioritization of only the very best compounds from the outset. In primary screening, automated cell-based assays can help speed up the process of screening compounds against targets. Recent advances in high-content screening, HCS, enable an entire two-color 96-well plate to be scanned and quantified within just five minutes. Manuela Bale-Peter, director of the business sector, liquid handling and automation at Analytic Gina, states, By helping to speed up the profiling of selected compounds against cellular targets, automation offers more opportunities for downstream applications, such as phenotypic screening. As a direct consequence of automation, data improves in quantity and quality which in return provides higher quality assays and, in the end, better drugs. Automated systems can also help to track which compounds have been screened and when facilitating the management of the huge number of compounds during primary screening. HCS, for instance, logs all measurements at numerous time points and pharmacological concentrations, and these data can be retrieved at any time during the screening process. Streamlining complex cellular assays and improving precision. Automation helps to streamline the complex and labor-intensive processes typically involved in cell-based assays, including cell seeding, media and buffer exchange, compound and reagent dispensing, and cell washing. Long-term kinetic assays, for example, require time-consuming cell health maintenance over days to weeks. Robotic arms can streamline this process, Such automated procedures help to maximize the efficiency and productivity of laboratories, especially as they provide crucial walk-away time, 
and allow assays to be performed during evenings and weekends. Dr. Christopher Cowan, Senior Technology Manager at Promega, states, The development of integrated platforms, new features of multi-mode readers, and advances in software analysis tools are now enabling more complex experimental designs and longer-term kinetic studies of cells. These more sophisticated assays are improving the reproducibility and robustness of the data to benefit drug discovery. Automated systems can also improve the reliability of the data by reducing the amount of manual handling by technicians. Not only does this eliminate variability associated with human error, it also reduces the risk of contamination, which is more likely to arise through human interactions with equipment. In this way, automated systems ensure the consistent and reproducible performance of cellular assays, especially as they become more sophisticated. Tackling the challenges of automated cell-based assays Despite recent advances, adopting automated cell-based assays can still be challenging. Fortunately, these challenges are being overcome by various commercial products and services, some of which will now outline. Challenge 1. Adapting automated solutions to meet specific needs The requirements for automated systems vary widely among different laboratories, making it difficult to adapt them to changing application parameters and environments. Fortunately, systems such as Analytic Gina's modular SciBioFelix benchtop liquid handling platform and the thermoscientific Cytomat series of automated cell incubators are fully compatible with a wide range of laboratory automation solutions. This can help to simplify drug discovery workflows, even for very complex applications. Remy Magna, Associate Director, Cellomics and Proteomics at TCAN, states, Every drug discovery project is unique, and there is no standard workflow to rely on. So one of the biggest challenges that laboratories face is having to integrate different automated systems and configurations for different projects. Customized platforms that integrate and configure the different modules can help optimize workflows to meet specific project needs. Expert support services, such as TCAN LabWorks, can design and create complex workstations that integrate a wide range of automation systems such as HCS images, multi-mode readers, flow cytometers, centrifuges, incubators, and cell dispensers. The service aims to deliver customized workflows for highly complex projects to dramatically improve the laboratory's efficiency and productivity. Challenge 2. The automation of increasingly complex cellular assays. As the complexity of cellular assays increases in drug discovery, so do the challenges associated with automating them. More physiologically relevant 3D spheroid models, for example, have become a key tool, such as in the booming field of immuno-oncology. Spheroid tumor samples can be used to test which immune-mediated drugs are most efficacious in degrading tumors, including, for individual patients' tumors, to develop personalized cancer-targeting medicines. However, 3D spheroid proliferation assays can be difficult to automate due to the need to monitor the growth of spheroids kinetically over weeks using microscopy. Additionally, these assays require several different automation processes, including the initial assay setup of cell seeding into spheroid microplates, automating the periodic imaging of the spheroids, while also maintaining cell health and performing media exchanges. Three benchtop systems developed by Biotech Instruments are designed to be used in concert to fully automate 3D spheroid proliferation assays. The MultiFlow FX multi-mode dispenser can be used to seed cells into spheroid microplates, while the Citation 5 cell imaging multimode reader, in conjunction with the BioSpar 8 automated incubator, provides long-term automated kinetic imaging of the spheroids. As the Citation 5 is both a digital wide-field microscope and a microplate reader, absorbance measurements can be made to assess media pH using the common media additive phenol red. These measurements can be used to identify when to initiate gentle media exchange using the AMX automated module of the MultiFlow FX. Additionally, rigorously evaluating such complex cellular models can be challenging. One issue that arises from analyzing thick 3D spheroid samples is that conventional light-emitting diode light engines are typically not bright enough to completely illuminate their entire depth. This has recently been overcome by the new thermoscientific Cell Insight CX7 LZR HCS platform, which provides seven independent, solid-state lasers to illuminate thick tissue. 
The laser light engine provides for shorter exposure times, which further accelerates throughput for large-scale projects. Another key challenge facing labs is the need to use automated systems that are sufficiently flexible to adapt to rapidly changing needs in drug discovery, as well as address the industry's current demands. The thermoscientific Inspire collaborative laboratory automation platform has modular components that allow the optimal configuration for a certain workflow, helping to adapt the automation platform to the specific needs of laboratories as they evolve. Challenge three, ensuring expertise and experience in automation. Expertise and experience in automation are among the greatest barriers to implementing automated cell-based assays in drug discovery, particularly those involving more complex processes. Dedicated support service teams can help fill any gaps with their expertise in programming and experience in optimizing a variety of automation platforms. Roger Clark, group leader of high throughput screening biology and head of compound management at Charles River, notes, for more complex automation, it is important to maintain specialist skills within an organization to ensure the best use is made from the investment in automation. This includes having key personnel on hand to quickly teach robotic platforms, recover platforms when they malfunction, and configure complex cellular readers to prevent any costly delays to the drug discovery pipeline. Charles Rivers' team of experts provides critical support for automated solutions throughout the drug discovery and development pipeline, from hit identification through to the preclinical phases. Similarly, Promega's team of global field services scientists will collaborate with customers on site to optimize and program assays for high throughput platforms. What is the future of cell based automation in drug discovery? Ongoing advances in automated cell based assays are likely to focus on a variety of existing needs in drug discovery. One such need is for modular devices that can quickly adapt to new laboratory conditions and devices, as well as for more compact systems to enable them to fit into increasingly limited laboratory spaces. Moreover, it is likely that improvements in software will continue to drive data analyses, as well as data trending to provide greater analysis capabilities. With every laboratory looking to reduce costs, there will also be continued demand for scalable automated systems that can quickly increase throughput, as well as label-free applications such as matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization, often referred to as MALDI, which avoid the use of expensive fluorescence markers. Dara Grantham Wright, Vice President and General Manager, Protein and Cell Analysis Business Unit, Life Sciences Solutions Group, Thermo Fisher Scientific, states that, as automation technologies become more collaborative, intuitive, and versatile, more researchers will be able to access these tools for cellular assays. This will improve our ability to develop more clinically relevant models and enhance the overall reproducibility of data, helping to discover new drug classes, personalize treatments, and replace conventional animal testing. As researchers explore more complex disease types and employ co-culture systems, it is also likely that the resurgence of phenotypic and fragment-based screening will continue. In addition, the combination of cell biology with virtual simulations and computer learning is set to further advance cellular assays in drug discovery. Conclusion Automation is enabling more sophisticated cell-based assays to advance drug discovery. Laboratories can gain numerous benefits from automating cellular assays, including streamlined workflows, increased productivity, and enhanced assay precision. While there are still some barriers to their adoption, novel technologies and services are starting to overcome these effectively accelerating the search for innovative treatments. This article was written by Helen Stewart-Miller and Kate Toynton. Helen Stewart-Miller is Director of PR Services, and Kate Toynton is a science writer at Biostrata, a life science specialist marketing agency. The company's growing team in Cambridge in the UK and Boston in the US includes a significant number of people with deep scientific experience and knowledge. The agency offers a range of services from strategy, branding, and message development, through to content creation, creative design, digital marketing, and public relations. If you've enjoyed this episode, then you can subscribe to Drug Discovery World free of charge by visiting our website at ddw-online.com, where you can also view all of our articles, including references and images, and download the original PDFs. The links are in the show notes. 
If you've enjoyed the podcast, then do leave us a review and subscribe. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you for listening, and we'll hope to see you in our next episode.